Hey guys, so for today's video I'm going to be showing you how to customize and print your own hoodies. So, first for materials you're going to need some paint brushes, then you'll need a piece of cardboard, you're also going to need a hoodie or a t-shirt, whatever clothing you want to print on, you'll need some sponges for your paint, and then you're going to need an exacto knife to cut out your stencils and some fabric paint. Finally, you'll need some masking tape. So to start out, I'm going to cut out my stencil. So I chose to cut mine out of a transparency so that none of the paint seeps through if I was using paper. So it's a little more durable, so I'm just going to tape it down and cut it out with my X-Acto knife. So you obviously you want to choose a simple pattern. You can choose one more difficult, but that will take more time. So once you're done with that, you're going to carefully pop out your pieces that you don't want to use and you want to be really careful because however you cut it out and pop it out that's how it will show up on your sweater. So then we're going to take our piece of cardboard and put it inside so none of the paint seeps through the fabric and tape down our stencil. Then sponge on it with our uh, fabric paint so I chose to do the um, gold fabric paint on my sweatshirt and so the pink sweatshirt is from Joann's and it was about ten dollars and the fabric paint was the tulip metallic gold soft fabric paint and that was about five then we're going to touch it up with our paintbrush and peel off our stencil and then continue to touch up um, once the stencil's off to make sure we got all the spots that the stencil missed or any impurities that we did okay then for the other sweatshirt, I'm taking my silver, which is the same fabric paint brand, but it's in the color platinum, and sponge that on. And you want to make sure you're sponging on top of it and not shifting around your stencil or getting the paint underneath the stencil so that you get nice crisp lines and you make sure you get your stencil exactly how you want it. Then again, going over it with a paintbrush, trying to go on top of the stencil and not underneath it in any way because we don't want any paint to get underneath and mess up our stencil. So this design was obviously more complicated, um, and for your stencil you don't even have to cut your own, you can just get one from the store that you like and do that one, that's probably easier, but I wanted to customize my own, so that's why I cut them out. And this project is pretty simple, but you have to just be careful and take your time with it. It takes about an hour to, for, me to, um, to, for me to do both sweatshirts, so it's not that long, uh, you just have to be patient and work with it. Don't rush it and don't try to do it all at once and uh, just pour all the paint on it because then you're going to get messed up. Okay, then we're going to remove our stencil and we're going to fix all the lines. And so obviously you see wherever the little gaps are is where I didn't cut out of the stencil so that we could have our letters like O and D and the L get all the loops in and make sure we keep those in the correct shape and then so I'm just going to fill those uh, little gaps in. Also you want to make sure that you keep your paint even and in a thin layer because if it's too thick it's not going to dry um, and then it will be bumpy also and so it looks better if it's even. Just, just You have to do one to two coats for each uh, area but just make sure it's about an even color. Then you let it dry for four plus hours or overnight, turn them inside out and wash with cold water and then dry on low heat. So that's our finished project. Uh, thank you for watching this video and I hope you liked it. Bye!